Hi friends, welcome back to All Unknown Law. Today I'm going to talk about USMLE scoring question number 6. Before starting this, I would request you to subscribe to our channel All Unknown Law and please share our videos with your friends. Okay. Uh, let me start with this and these are very important questions what we are discussing and this is how the USMLE will trick you try to confuse you okay so you should need you should know the basic ideas of the fundamentals that's very important okay guys okay now look at this case scenario a mother calls you to your office in midnight you are her child's doctor uh, her son is a six year old recently diagnosed with ALL and doing well with the chemotherapy. She says her child had developed fever and gave paracetamol. Look at the three points. One, she is calling you. Okay, this is on US Assembly. She make she is making a call to you. And the second is he is having an ALL. He is diagnosed with the ALL. And the third he the third is he has developed the fever. This is very important points. Now, what you will do the next? What would you advise her over the phone? It's a midnight. She's calling you. Okay. The options are good. What do you say to mother? Good. You gave paracetamol. Come to my office early morning for further investigations. Good. You gave paracetamol and it could be a viral. Nothing to worry as he is on chemotherapy. Good, but rush to ER now, call 911. Good, nothing to worry, it will subside on its own. Good, that you gave paracetamol and try getting good history over the phone. Now tell me, what would you do? He's, she's on the call, she's on the phone, the, her child is ALL and has developed the fever. The answer is you need to call you need to tell a mother to call 911 and rush to the hospital. Why? Because the things in ALL, what you need to do is you need to look for absolute neutrophilic count, ANC. If it's a below 500, you need to start with the septic workup. Whether it's a below 1000 or a 500, you need to start looking for the, some infection because he's very prone to the infections. You need to record the temperature, very important, is a mild, moderate or severe. Need to send for a septic workup, need to start a higher antibiotics. These are the things you need to do. If you tell the patient over the phone that everything is normal, come tomorrow, then it could be, it could be a fatal to the child's health. Okay? So what you need to advise to the mother is, good, you gave the paracetamol, but now rush to the ER by calling 911 so that we can start looking up at the ANC and start with the septic workup if required, higher antibiotics and record the temperatures. So these are the very important points you should know. Any patients in USMLE over the phone call, remember, advising everything over the phone call is relatively a wrong answer. Okay, sometimes they can confuse you with they can give you the history of an elderly man with COPD, CHF, develops a breathlessness, signs of pneumonia, and he has taken the pneumococcal vaccination one year ago. Okay, so now he has developed the fever. What would you do? Same thing, just tell him to rush to the ER. That's the best thing you should do. Okay, guys, thank you so much for watching my video. I hope you got an idea how to handle a patient who is on over the phone. Okay guys, thank you so much for watching my video. Take care.